Let's explore the many new features of the Vienna Ensemble Pro interface. The mouse over description for all buttons and an additional explanation in the lower left corner, including the corresponding shortcut, will help to get you started right away. The preferences open in standalone mode only and let you configure your audio and MIDI settings. In Windows, please assign your BST plugin folders. As soon as you are using Vienna Ensemble Pro as a plugin, the Preserve function is available. This outstanding feature has been discussed in our overview video. Let's check out the different channel types you can insert in Vienna Ensemble Pro. Vienna Instruments channels, VST and Audio Unit Instrument channels, Audio Input channels and buses. You can delete selected channels and you can adjust the view of the channel pane for a quicker overview. Audio input channels are very cool to have for multi-timbral plugins. You can pick up the signal of different tracks and apply additional effects anytime. Name your channels and buses in the channel pane with a double click. A right click on a channel in the channel pane or in the mixer gives you additional options like duplicating channels or copying a variety of settings. You can also change the color of the selected channels this way. In the mixer you can now comfortably adjust the channel view of each channel and the full mixer view. It's possible to detach all windows, be it your mixer or a specific plugin, to have them constantly available on a second monitor, for example. Each instrument channel lets you adjust the MIDI port and MIDI channel, and you can see and adjust the corresponding numbers in both the channel pane and the mixer. Additionally, you can define two key ranges for each instrument, which is extremely helpful when you're stacking, for example, a full string ensemble with the Vienna instruments, as you can define a separate key switch area. This way you can trigger the articulations for all instruments with the same key switches. To bypass delete or replace effects, right-click on the given effect slot. You can also move effects to any other channel or change the order in the given channel. Rubber band selection works in both the channel pane and in the mixer. With multiple channels selected, hold down ALT to change volume and pan settings of all channels. Sends are also easy to operate. Let's insert a Vienna Suite convolution reverb into a new bus and call it Reverb Far. It shows up in the list immediately. And as with all sliders in Vienna Ensemble Pro, if you hold down Shift while dragging your mouse, the slider will move slower for more accurate settings. If you want to, you can activate the pre-fader option with a right click. The Send slider will turn orange for better orientation. And just to have mentioned it, the integrated power pan for each channel is very convenient to position your instrument accurately without losing any stereo information. And yes, mute and solo buttons for each channel are also available. Some great new features for all Vienna Instruments users. You can merge existing projects. This will add the channels of your existing Vienna Ensemble projects to your Vienna Ensemble Pro session which guarantees a smooth transition from your old to your new software. Link Pages lets you switch between Vienna Instruments and keep the same Vienna Instruments page open. You can now also optimize all Vienna Instruments in one go. Click Learn All, play back your arrangement and then click Optimize All. And only the samples you really need will stay in your RAM. To reload the samples, Click Reset All. And you can change the master tuning for all Vienna instruments in your project with one click. All features are described in detail in the Vienna Ensemble Pro manual, available in your user area. Thanks for your attention. We wish you a great time with Vienna Ensemble Pro.